uh, okay so let's applications of dimensions why you study the dimensions what are the needful things of studying from the dimensions so it is a very important conclusion part from the dimensions so what is the requirement of the dimensions so the first one there are three main applications from the dimensions conversion of one system of unit into another system so that is first thing conversion of one system in it into another system the second one check the correctness of equation the equation is right or wrong for example this equation is it right or wrong to check by using the dimensions method then the third one is to derive the relationship with different physical quantities by using the different physical quantities you have to derive the relation the equation by using the dimensions so let's study first one one by one that is a first one is so conversion of one system unit into another system for example you know that is a example convert convert 1 newton 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 die okay so this is a mks system this is a CTS system. To convert MKS system into CGS system. Okay, so let's see how to convert. Okay, the first one is write MKS system. MKS divided by CGS system. CGS. Okay, in MKS system, that is a 1 Newton divided by CGS system is 1 die. Correct. 1 Newton, 1 die. The dimensional formula for Newton. Newton is a which quantity? Newton is a force. Force. This is die is also force in CGS system. In CGS system, so this is force, this is also force. Okay, let's come to the point. Force, the dimensional formula for force. Force is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass acceleration. Acceleration is meter per second square. Meter per second square. This is called as 2, 2, 2. So this is M1, L1, T1 minus 2. So why I took symbols? Because mass put in MKS system, length put in MKS system, mass in CGS system, length in CGS system, time is in CGS system. Okay. Put one by one. Very simple method. First one. Mass. MK system. MK system only. So this is a M. Okay. M. That means it is a length. Length. Mass. Time. So length to meter mass kg time second illi length centimeter mass gram time second so these are 
system of studies system of units already studied in the last class let's come to the point force mass this is a mass in mk system kilogram kg i write i put kilogram kg kg length meter meter this is time second 111 so that is a reference divided by mass m mass gram 1 gram then length centimeter time second okay so this is the just i put the units now come to the point 1 kg is equal to 1000 g correct ah ಒಂದ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಒಂದ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಒಂದ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಐ ಪುಟ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ meter so a centimeter is equal to 1 meter 100 100 cm because this is converted divided by 1 gram this is 1 cm okay so this is 1 newton this is 1 dai ओके सो ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ 1000 ಸೋ 1000 ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಬಹುದು 1000 ಅನ್ನು 10 ಟು ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ 3 ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ 100 10 ಟು ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ 2 ಸೋ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ 10 ಟು ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ So 1 newton divided by 1 dime is equal to 10 to the power of 5 in newton divided by 1 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 okay so this is the mks system the mks system is converted into the cgs system this is the application of dimensions Okay. So just you watch. Okay, go to the second example. Very important second example. The concept is remain same. Okay, the concept is remain same. Then second one. One joule is equal to how much? Let's see. One joule is equal to convert convert one joule is equal to ten to the power of seven ERG. Okay, or we don't know. Is to under both the line. How much you have to find out? So one joule is equal to how much ERG? So this is which system? This is a MKS system. This is which system? CGS system. Okay. The first step. Step number one. MKS divided by CGS system. Okay. Joule. Joule is the unit. This is. One joule, one ERG. 
So both are unit of energy. Energy. So then, the dimensional formula for energy, work, force into displacement, force and re, mass into acceleration. Kagadri final lagi na bete yam one l two t minus. divided by m1 l2 t minus 2 so now i that this is 2 2 2 this is 1 1 1 because systems are changes why i took reference because the system of changes okay let's come to the point first step Completed. Second step. Mass. Kilogram. I put kilogram. Kg. Length. Meter. It is a square is there. I put square. Okay. It is only one. Time. Second. It is this is minus 2, I put minus 2. Okay, divided by, divided by, this is 1 gram. Correct? Then, length, centimeter, 1 centimeter square, that is 1 second minus 2. Okay, simple. Both are second, second, get cancelled. Then kg, already know, 1 kg, 1000 gram. Okay, that is 1 joule divided by 1 ERG is equal to 1 kg, 1000 gram. thousand gram then meter hundred hundred centimeter this is square root divided by one gram one gram you do one centimeter square Okay, first one, down confusions, put, this is a gram, gram, unit. So, this is a gram, this is a gram, get cancelled. Yes, second step. So, down confusions, this is square, this is square. Keep it in mind, this is magnet cube. Okay, you have to cancel unit, unit. Because 1 square, 100 square, not get cancelled to each other. Okay, so that is A is equal to 1000, 10 to the power of 3 into 100, 10 square. So, 10 square into whole square, as it is. The final answer is equal to 10 to the power of 7. So that means it is 1. So the question mark 1 joule is equal to get to the point 10 to the power of 7 ERG. So that means 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power of 7 ERG. Okay. So first of all I don't know. Now I found it. So this question mark answer, the question mark answer is how much? 10 to the power of 7. So this is a very very uh, good applications to find out. Uh, that means uh, 
to find out the value to conversion of one system into the another system. Okay, so let's see some examples again. Some examples. Some examples. So this is a EMKS system. So this is the CCS system. So in case system only one newton is equal to ten to the power of five die. Then one joule is equal to ten to the power of seven ERG. Okay, then one Pascal is equal to one Pascal is equal to ten BA. Then one Tesla is equal to one Tesla is equal to ten to the power of three Gauss. Okay. Next one, one meter per second square is equal to one meter per second square is equal to is equal to ten to the power of two ten to the power of two god god then. So one column is equal to right that is one column. Okay, this is MKS system. MKS system, this is a CGS system. One column is equal to 3.4, 3.4, 3 3.4 into 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 that is a uh, Franklin 1 column is equal to 3.4 into 10 to the power of 10 Franklin so then 1 ampere is equal to 1 ampere is equal to 1 ampere is equal to 10 biot 1 ampere is equal to 10 biot then 1 volt is equal to 1 volt is equal to so 0 0.0033 stack volt stack volt stack volt ok so these are the some important conversions Okay, so let's go to the second application. Okay, the first uh, dimensions applications already studied in the last class. Okay, the second application, checking the correctness of given physical relation. So whether the relation, whether the equation is correct or, or wrong, you can find out by using dimensions method. Okay. So, it is a very simple method. So, let's say example, better understand the concept. Okay. So, let's tell me anybody one equation. Okay. The famous equation. The famous equation that is A. X is equal to B naught. That means T plus of a t square. So this is called as equation. So where x is a displacement, where x is a displacement, v naught is a velocity, v and v naught. Okay, v and v naught is a velocity. Then t is a time. 
So whether you have checked this equation right or wrong by using dimensions method. Simple method, first one, take. So this side is LHS side. Okay, first LHS. This is LHS side. LHS is equal to RHS perpendicular. First one, x. Where x is what? Displacement. Displacement means length. That is m0, l1, t0. Correct? Then v0, t. Come to the second one, v0, t. v0 is velocity. Velocity, meter per second. Mass is not there, 0. Meter per second. So time t as it is. Then finally we got m0, m0, l1, l1, t minus 1 plus 1, g. Then of number. The number is not concentrate, not prefer. It is a dilted in the dimensions of remaining is a t square. A acceleration, the dimensional formula for acceleration. Acceleration, mass not zero, zero meter per second square, meter second square. Then t square. So this is a t and this is t. So this is t square means t square. Okay, now simplify it. That is m0 l1 t minus 2 plus 2 0. Okay. Let's Come to the point according to the principle of homogeneity. Okay, according to the principle of homogeneity, comparing these two. So, homogeneity. According to the principle of homogeneity. So, this term is equal to this term. Correct? And also, so this term is equal to this term. So that means all the equations are same. Okay, that means the fundamental physical quantities, powers are the same. The equation is what? Correct equation. The equation is right. Okay, so this is a method, very simple method. You take equation, okay, so then put the dimensional formula, so just equalization the equation, so is it? If the answer is same, that means equation is correct, okay, so let's take one more example, one more example. is example number 2 uh, example number 2 that is F is equal to capital G capital G M1 M2 divided by so where G is a constant, where G is a constant, M1 and M2 are the mass, then R is the distance. 
So this is the famous equation in the gravitational topic. So whether this equation right or wrong, this is constant value. Okay, so this is G is a constant value. Okay, uh, take this equation, the first one, F. So F is equal to dimensional formula, mass into acceleration, mass acceleration kg meter per second square kg meter per second square then g is the constant repeat value constant value then m1 m2 m1 m2 so this is mass 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 m square so that is l is 0 t minus 2 so divided by r square divided by r square means l square ok so finally answer final answer that is equal M2 M2 that is uh, M1 M2 so that is mass this is 0 ok this is 0 because only mass is there M2 L0 T0 this is R square uh, N2 it goes to upward that becomes minus 2 this is T0 0 ok let's come to the point so this is M1 L1 T minus 2 ok M1 L1 T minus 2 this is M2 so that is a Comparing mass power, this is 1, this is 2. So, this is length power is 1, this is length power is minus 2. This is minus 2, this is 0. So, that means from equation 1 and 2, okay. So, from equation 1 and 2, not equal. Okay. From equation 1 is not equal to 2. So, this is equation is what? Wrong when I took gravity. Okay. So this is the matter because I, I took what is this one this is value I don't know exactly what is that one value ok so this is the method ok so take one more homework ok homework So homework part, this is the homework, homework part, first one, homework part, B is equal to V0 plus AT, second one, V square is equal to, V square is equal to U square plus 2AX, this is V square plus V0 square plus 2AX. Then P is equal to of M V naught square V naught square minus of M V square. Okay, so by term V and V naught is velocity. V and V naught velocity T is a time t is the time then a is a acceleration a is a acceleration then p p is a momentum p is a momentum so where m is a mass 
Okay, so these are the symbols. Okay, the third one applications of dimensional formula. So very important application. Uh, derive the relationship to derive the relationship among various physical quantities. For example, this is a physical quantity: mass, velocity, radius. You take derived physical quantities or fundamental physical quantities. Any one to bear the relation, to show the relation. Okay, so that is the application. For example, mass, velocity, radius. So these three mass. Velocity radius to build the relation of centripetal force by using these three equation to build the centripetal force equation. Okay, so let's see solution for this one. For example, this is the example. So example number one to derive the what expression to derive the Dimensionally, the expression for centripetal force acting on a particle mass m, velocity v, and radius is r. Okay, I don't know. That is a first initially step number one. The centripetal force. The centripetal force is directly proportional to the mass, velocity. Radius, radius. So I took power. I don't know power. A. This power is b. This power is c. Okay. So that means the centripetal force. Remove the proportionality. K m to the power of a, b to the power of b, r to the power of c. Okay. So this is called as equation. Okay, the step number one, centripetal force. So, not derive what they call it. So, directly to the m, v, r. I don't know. So, just I take like that. I don't know power also. That is a, b, c. Okay, you take x, y, z, p, q, r. Anyone power? You don't know power. Okay. Ah, uh, first one, centripetal force. That means force. What is the dimensional formula for force? The dimensional formula for force is okay. The dimensional formula for force, the dimensional formula for force is m one. That is kg meter per second square. This is the dimensional formula for force. K constant. Keep it. Okay. Then m m is a mass. Okay, m is a mass. This power e. Then velocity. What is the power of velocity? Velocity is velocity is meter per second. Per second. That is volt to the power of Then radius, it is length. Length is L one. It is power is c. Okay. So from the uh, homogeneity principle. Okay, the homogeneity principle. Take the homogeneity principle. This is mass. The mass power is one. This side mass power is a. So अगर देखो नहीं कि इकने mass power अली ये ही थे इली one ही थे. So ये दोनों compare मार देगा power साना. Okay, that means a is equal to. Just बढ़ते a is equal to one. Comparing the powers. Okay, comparing the powers, a is equal to one. Next, l length. Okay, l to the power of 
B alpha. Illi end to the power of C alpha. Hagadre end to the power of B end to the power of C. So again I would say that is B plus C. Power on a is in my point right? B plus C. Okay. Next step on M to the power of A, L to the power of B, T to the power of minus B, then L to the power of C. L to the power of B, L to the power of C, L to the power of B plus C. Okay, so I have to confuse another. Only one step on up, extra work of the other. So that is A, M to the power of 1, L to the power of 1, T to the power of minus 2, that is equal to M to the power of A, M to the power of A, L to the power of B plus C, B plus C, and T to the power of. Okay, so eva like a graph comparing. A comparing Madaka, comparing powers, comparing powers. So what is A value? A is equal to 1. Correct? A is equal to 1. Minus B. Minus B is equal to minus 2 correct so minus b is equal to minus 2 or the b is equal to 2 then b plus c is equal to b plus c is equal to 1 ok so the, when b value what is it so b value is 2 I put 2 plus c is equal to 1 so, C is equal to 1 minus 2, that is minus 1. Minus 1. Okay, so put ABC value in equation number 1. Put A comma B and C in equation 1. Okay, so in what is it? Simple. I found the values of ABC by using the dimensional powers comparing method. Okay, the next step put ABC value. Okay, ABC value substitution manually put ABC value. Okay, this is centripetal force. Then the centripetal force is equal to K is as it is. M to the power of A, A means 1. V, okay, B, what is the B value? Ah, B value is 2. Then R to the power of C, C value is minus 1. Okay, not A value, B value, C value. Put A value, B value, C value. Okay, A, B, C value. Then finally, this is constant. Okay, constant. K, M, V square. So, in it divided by the power, it is minus. Minus 100 divided by. Okay, let's see this is a minus means. So, it is shifted plus. The centripetal equation mv square by r. So this is the centripetal force equation. Okay. So by using the dimensional method. Okay. So this is the first example. Let's see second example. Okay. Uh, please make the notes.
ओके द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द आइसोलेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन मास लेंथ एल एंड एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी जी डिराइव द टाइम पीरियड इक्वेशन बाई यूजिंग द डायमेंशनल मैथड ओके सो लेट सी द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम मास एम लेंथ एल एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी जी ओके टाइम पीरियड टी is proportionality to the you know simple step k is constant that is m okay then l g okay m l g m l g so remove the proportionality so t proportionality k m l g so this is called as equation of r1 step 1 complete aata time period is proportionality to the m l g so power square the law this power is a this power is b this power is c okay so the simple step come to the second point time so time andre m power 0 l power जीरो टी टाइम वन दिस इज सो अगर के कॉन्स्टेंट स्किप दैट वन यम एम टू दवर ऑफ टी करेक्ट एल एल टू दवर ऑफ टी देशन डू टू ग्रेविटी मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर लेंथ टी माइनस टू ओल टू दी पावर ऑफ सी देन यम जीरो एल जीरो टी माइनस वन देन दैट इज इक्वल टू यम टू दी पावर ऑफ ए एल टू दी पावर ऑफ b then l to the power of c l to the power of c then t to the power of minus 2c okay then m0 l0 t minus plus 1 okay plus 1 is equal to m to the power of a b to the power of sorry l to the power of b l to the power of c then l to the power of b plus c t to the power of minus 2c okay so this is power next a comparing powers comparing the powers comparing powers so a is equal to 0 correct then b plus c b plus c is equal to 0 then minus 2c is equal to Okay, so I have done. So this becomes c is equal to minus one by two. Okay, so put c value. C value when I substitution, what I get? I get that. So b minus one by two is equal to zero. I have done. B is equal to one by two. So a is equal to zero. B is equal to one by two and C is equal to minus one by two. Okay, so put E B C value, put E comma B and C value, C value in equation one. Okay, 
सो इक्वेशन वन ए सी वैल्यू सब्सटिट्यूशन ओके सो मेक द नोट्स सो वेरी सिंपल मैथड सो जस्ट कंपेरिंग द पवर्स Come to the point. Put A B C values. Okay. Shall I write this part? Okay. Then. T is equal to K constant. Keep it same. M to the power of A value. Zero. Y to the power of b one by two. G to the power of c minus one by two. T is equal to k is as it is. Y to the power of zero one. This is one by two. This is minus one by two. So when the y to the power of one by two minus to the kela kundre g to the power of plus one by two. So one by two na ita mo ko mada that is equal to square root of y divided by g. Okay. So this is the dimensional formula. Okay. So t is equal to k square root of y divided by g. Okay. So this is the.